Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eunso Jo, and I will be your tour guide here in one of the buildings in Gyeongbok Palace, which is named Gangyeongjeon. I hope, uh, I hope you have a good time in Gangyeong at Gangyeongjeon, and I expect our tour will take about five minutes. So. Even though the time is short, I hope you could enjoy as possible as you can. We came out from Sajangjeon, which is known as the king's office. We are now passing through a gate called Hyanggomun. This door symbolizes the five lucks of humans, which are longevity, richness, healthiness, manners, and comfort. Among these five looks, our ancestors strongly believe that healthiness is the most significant look, so they named the king's quarter Gangyeongjeon, which means good health. Gangyeongjeon Hall was served as the king's living quarter where the king slept and spent his time. Compared to Western customs, kings and queens lived in a separate bedroom during the Joseon dynasty. These customs were according to the Confucian doctrine, which was known and which was also popular in China. Let's take a look at the roof. Can you notice something different about the roof? This roof has no ridge. Dragon symbolized king during Joseon dynasty, so making two dragons would mean there are two kings. Our ancestors believed the two dragons could never coexist together uh, and therefore they didn't make a ridge on this building so as to make sure that there are no two kings on a same building. Also, the another trait of this building is that there were more soil rather than grass. There are two big reasons why and firstly, it's because the grass was mo were mostly planted and grape only for the dead people. Secondly, it's because to hear the sound of the stranger better. The king was considered as a person who could be easily assassinated. Therefore, uh, they planted grass in front of the building in, uh, at the yard, yelled. yelled to make sure the king to be safe whenever he was sleeping or spending his own time. This wide space in front of Kang Yongjeon is called Wordde. There are banquets with royal families. The king used to sleep and live in Kang Yongjeon, and it should be warmer in winter. So Kang Yongjeon had a heating system called Wundu. Wondol is a Korean traditional underfloor heating system. Since Gangyeongjeon was a place where the king stayed during the last dynasty of our history, it was not possible to build a chimney near a building. But it was not possible to build a chimney far away, so it was built by attaching a chimney on the left and right sides of Yangemun to Kyotejeon, behind the building. There are chimneys too, and letters are written on them. It is written Ban Su Bu Gang on the left chimney, and it means living long, which represents longevity, which was considered as an important virtue among our ancestors. On the right one, it is written Chun Se Ban Se, and it also means living long, also representing longevity one of the important virtues that our ancestors had emphasized. If you catch a glimpse of these letters, you might think it is just a drawing, but there are actually letters with meanings which our ancestors considered as important. These chimneys were built for the heating system connected to the undul. Ladies and gentlemen, guess how this thing was functioned by our ancestors. This is called 어정, which is a type of well. 
Our ancestors knew that water was an important factor for survival. So they placed Ojong next to Gangyeongjun building. By the location of this Ojong, we were able to notice that the king was a significant person more than we think. Also, there is a story concerning to this well Ojong that uh, the lid of this well was too heavy. Uh, therefore, two, 20 men were need, needed to open this lid. It was also made in a purpose to protect King from being damaged or being assassinated with the lid. So it could be considered that the lid of this well was made in an intellectual way by our ancestors. So I believe that this is our end of our tour and I hope you have good time here in Gangyeongjun. Thank you.